it's Sam. I'm gonna do Friday favorites and fudgeroos today. I haven't even gotten them together yet, so hold on. <laughs> I'll start off with my makeup. I actually have quite a quite a lot of like new stuff today, so that's exciting. Um, okay, as far as like my new makeup goes, to start off with my very favorite, because this has been so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. I've been wearing it every single day. I have it on right now. Um, it's the Lorac, and it's the perfect perfectly lit luminous and that's what it looks like and it's basically just a highlighter you put it right here down the nose upper lip you can put it on your brow bone pretty much anywhere that you want to be highlighted so that is just like oh absolutely love it i got it at sephora um definitely worth the money they are a little bit expensive but it'll last forever and it just looks so beautiful and it doesn't look like powder it's very like Ooh, it just is so nice. It's really beautiful. The next thing has been my Smashbox Soft Lights, and this is the color Prism. And it's basically just a really, really soft pink. You can use it as a blush or a highlight, depending on the color of your skin, obviously. But it's just a beautiful, like, oh, it's just so pretty. Um, it swatches quite shimmery, but when you put it on your face, it doesn't look like, whoa, sparkle, sparkle face, you know? It's very soft, it's very pretty. You can build it up if you wanna have more color or you can just put a very, very kind of soft little bit and it just looks so beautiful on the skin. Another blush, wow, it's all about blush and highlight. This is the Cora's Zaya Maze blush and that's what it looks like, the back. Um, this was, this is 18 peach as far as the color goes. But that is the color and it's just a beautiful, oh, it's like a beautiful peachy coral. It does have a tiny weeny bit of a kind of sheen, um, but it looks really beautiful on the skin. It gives you just kind of like a really pretty coral glow, so I love that. This I actually have had for a while. It's the Bare Minerals Ready Eyeshadow. The color that I have is Dream Sequence, so this is all the purple ones. And again, it has a big huge mirror, but those are the colors. So you've got this white is actually, um, it has like an opalescent purple when you put it on and then you've got kind of like a, what is that, kind of like a silverish, lightish mauve or something, a matte kind of dark plum and then this really beautiful shimmery um, kind of opalescent bright purple and that was what I was wearing yesterday as my purple smoky eye. Um, everything was just from this palette right here and these, uh, they're really pigmented, they're very like, they go on very nicely, um, they're really really pretty and I have another palette from them too and it was really beautiful too so I definitely recommend these I think they're really nice and you can get these at Sephora uh this color I just absolutely love oh my gosh I gotta scooch in a little bit hold on Whew. this is the NYX eyeshadow the color that I have is apricot mousse like mousse as in the animal and it's just a really beautiful peachy um just a shimmery peach I wore it for my bridal makeup and I just really love the NYX eyeshadows. They're very pigmented. They, um, I think I spoke about them last week as well. They're all very, just, I haven't been disappointed with any of them. So, but that color is just so beautiful. And I think it would be beautiful on any skin tone, especially if you have like a tan or if you're a little bit more kind of caramel color. Oh my gosh, Whew, that looks so pretty. Because sometimes, you know, when you're a little bit lighter, things don't show up as much as it would if you're like, had this beautiful, Coffee color, ooh yeah, I wish I was coffee color. For lips this week, the Cora's Water oh, Liquid Lipstick Raspberry Lip Gloss. And I wore this yesterday, and then I wore my Dazzle Glass Funtabulous Over, which is just a really beautiful purple sparkly, oh, I just love this. I love the Dazzle Glasses, they're my favorite. They're just so sparkly and so pretty, and I have another one on today. Both of these, the Dazzle Glasses are quite sticky, so if you don't like sticky and if you don't like thick, I definitely wouldn't recommend them. But if you like really shiny, really glossy, really like, whoa baby, you'll love Dazzle Glass. And this goes on really, really nicely. It's not quite a gloss, but it's not a lipstick. It's kind of in between, but it goes on really nicely. It's very moisturizing, and it has like a nice texture, and it's not sticky, um, and it stayed on really, really well. So. Very impressed with those. And then we're going on to nails. For my nails, I think I spoke about this last week, but I just love this color. It's so pretty. It's the S.A. S.A. <laughs> S.E. Vandigo. Just a beautiful light pink. I wore it with my Orly Lollipop, 
and this is just one of my most favorite colors. It's just so beautiful, especially for the spring coming up. Um, just a beautiful soft lilac. The nice thing about Orly is that they last really well and they're beautiful to apply. And then these are from the dollar store. And these are just the LA Colors Art Deco. And I got a bunch of them and I have, um, they're just really fun because they do have like a long little skinny um, brush. They're just really great for kind of just decorating your nails. If you're kind of wanting to do some little fun designs, these are really awesome and for a dollar, like cool beans, you know? And they have tons of different colors at the dollar store, like at least mine did. As my shampoo and conditioner, first of all, I wanna say the packaging of this is so cute. It's just very kind of like, I don't know, it reminds me of summer, very kind of beachy, surferish. But this is the Aquash Biomega Moisture Shampoo and Moisture Conditioner. But how cute is that packaging? It's just like all these Hawaiian flowers. It just looks like the ocean to me. Um, these I've been using now for, I would say a good week and a half, two weeks. Maybe two weeks. Um, they are, they, first of all, they smell really nice. They're not fruity. They're more kind of like a florally perfume smell. You have a smell. Yeah, like more of like a floral smell. But I was kind of like thinking, oh, moisture shampoo, it's going to like really leave a residue in my hair. And it didn't at all. It's, they lather really nicely. The conditioner, as soon as you put it in, all of your tangles are gone. It's very, very silky, very, very smooth. And it makes your hair smell good even when you blow dry it. So like pretty much until you shower next or um, wash your hair next, it will smell good. So that's really nice because I always like when my hair smells nice and then Jay will be like, you smell good. And I'm like, yeah. It's just really, I mean, I've really been impressed with it. It hasn't weighed my hair down, which is my biggest pet peeve. I hate when you can feel the product in your hair. Ugh, that makes me feel sick. You know, it's like you're drying it with your blow dryer and then you can feel like tackiness or something, not tackiness, but you know what I mean? It's like, ooh, product feeling, I hate that. Yeah, really impressed with these, I, I like them so far. I haven't worn my hair straight or flat ironed or anything, so I can't say that um, I've noticed that my hair feels really like much nicer because I've been wearing it kind of curly or up, but it still feels nice, you know, it's not like it feels like noodles or anything. Um, and then, keeping with the Biomega, Biomega theme, um, again, packaging is super cute. This is the Firm and Fabulous Hairspray. First of all, look at that beast. It's a huge thing, and it's just a aerosol. And it smells really, it smells again florally, kind of, you know, perfumey. But it just is a nice hairspray. <sighs> I can't, I'm, I'm talking so much I can't breathe, you know? It doesn't leave it crusty, but it holds everything in place, and it doesn't smell like crap. I hate when hairsprays smell like crap, like Joico. Ugh. That stuff makes me feel sick, you know? It's not, it does not smell good. But that stuff smells nice and does what it's supposed to do, which is hold your hair in place. And then this is like my new favorite thing for that wild, curly texture. You need some like, whoa, baby, texture in your hair. This is what I wore the other day when I did my updo to give you, I just it just builds it up, it gives you volume, it gives you texture, and it just like, if your hair is fine, or if you just, it's just a bit limp, and you want it to just be like, whoa, and then you can do, you work with it, you know, or curl it or whatever, it'll just build it up and just give it that oomph that you need. This is the GK Hair Form Her Mousse, and it's just got the pump top, it's just a mousse, it's like a foam, and it smells exactly like orange juice, which I love because I love orange juice. And so yes, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, absolutely love the smell of it. it. It just builds, I mean, it just basically gives you like massive volume and it really, really brought out my curl really, really well. So I just put that in my hair when it's damp and then blow dry it upside down, scrunch it on low with my blow dryer and it was just like, whoa, lion head. Oh, I just cracked my back, that felt really good. Okay, as far as random goes, I have been absolutely loving my daddy diaper bag. Um, we got this as a baby shower gift. And honestly, we just had, um, we had it at dad and Jelly's house as kind of their diaper bag for when they babysat. But um, that doesn't really happen very often. <laughs> so I thought, whatever, I'm going to steal it back. Because, you know, my, my purse was driving me crazy. But this is what it looks like. It's got three big pouches in the front. And then it's got two pouches, if you guys can see. Oh, freaking. Two kind of smaller pouches on the sides. 
and then a big huge pouch in the middle here. Um, and what's nice about it is that it is in fact a messenger type bag and it's got a big section in the middle and what I really like about it is that it's got like this little section that you can kind of, I have my sanitizer, my singamajig, you can hook your keys if you want to, which I never do because I'm always afraid they're going to fall off. But um, it's worked so much better because I was really getting, you know, frustrated with my bag. That has kept everything in its place. It is, it goes on the back of my stroller fine because my other straps weren't big enough. And then I can wrap it around my body, hold Mr. Phoenix, hold something else in my hand. It's not falling off. It's not slipping down my shoulder. And it's been so much easier to actually go out and function in the world with a baby and a diaper bag. <laughs> I definitely, oh my gosh, I really love that. It just, it's, I would say it could be a tiny weeny bit bigger, but honestly, if then you just put more stuff in and then it's heavier, and then it hurts your back even more, so, ding. Now, for my fudgeroo, this isn't necessarily a fudgeroo, you guys know how I am with my fudgeroos. There's only a slight portion of it that is a fudgeroo, and it's the Corez High Shine Vibrant Color Lip Gloss, the Cherry Lip Gloss from Corez. It's just a sponge tip applicator, but it's just a really, really pretty red. Now, I wore this with a lip liner, and normally when I do red lips, I wear a red lip liner and then I put the lip gloss on or my lipstick or whatever, it never bleeds, it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, after like, I would say four hours, I looked in the mirror and I was like, whoa, nutsicles, man. It was like, oh, not good. It was like all in my like lip wrinkles, it had bled. Okay, my, my camera just like turned off. <laughs> um, it had bled all into my kind of like little lip wrinkles and lip cracks. And it just, yeah, it basically just bled like outside of my lip line. So I, I don't know if it was just because I was putting it over lip liner and I wore it like so kind of much of it. I think maybe it's more kind of like a little, ooh, I just want a little pop of sheer color maybe. So I'm gonna try it again like that because it's a beautiful color and it was really shiny and I loved it. It was just like, whoa, it bled a little bit. So, and even with lip liner. So it's a little bit depressed about that, you know? So I think that's my only fudge route. Now that I've strangled myself. <coughs> okay, I'm finished. I can't breathe now. So thank you so much for watching. Um, and I hope that you have a lovely weekend. It's Friday. And super duper, Tuesday we'll have a super, super important video. A special video. So... Um, yeah, definitely tune in for that on Tuesday, and then I'm gonna I'm about to film um, either my room tour or my makeup collection, whatever I have time for. So we'll see. Um, so I don't know. I might have an extra one on Sunday. I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> I just choked on my own spit. Don't hold me to that. But either way, they're gonna be eventually coming up. But yeah. So yeah, have a great weekend. I hope you guys all are staying warm and this pooing cold. And thank you for watching and please subscribe if you're new. And if you wanna know what I'm wearing on my um, outfit of the day and as far as my makeup goes, it'll be on my blog, which is samshirmer.com. Thank you, bye.